Hello, I am Gaia Sean Morissette, your sexual wellness coach and your BDSM life coach. Today we are going to talk about sacred sex, sacred sexuality. Um, in my one of my groups, everybody wanted to know like about Tantra and sexual magic and sacred sexual practices. So I'm just going to cover it. <laughs> so what is sacred sex? So there's many, many different types of sacred sexual practices. There's Tantra, there's Taoism, there's sexual shamanism, there's sexual magic, there's uh, many different tribal cultures practice uh, sex magic and um, sacred sexual practices. So I'll just kind of give you an overview of what it is and how you can start to connect with it. Fundamentally, the concept of sacred sexuality is moving, using your human body and the pleasure and the energy that is created to co-create something different in the universe. And it's about being human, all that it is to be human, and using the human experience to reach higher states of consciousness and higher states of enlightenment. Fundamentally, that's what sacred sexual practices are. And utilizing that sexual energy that you create with yourself or you create with a partner or partners to manifest something wonderful in the world. It's a lifetime practice. It's not something that, you know, you can be like, oh, I'm going to start doing this, you know, just and it's just going to happen. Um, you know, it's, it's a practice. So, you know, decide why you want to do this. Like, why is it that you want to go on this journey of awakening and connecting on a spiritual level and, um, and collective consciousness and enlightenment and being able to move and connect in that way through sexuality? It's important that you know the, your why. If you don't know your why, um, then you can't be focused. And if you don't know your why, um, you won't move through the emotional shit and blockages that you need to. If you don't know why you want to do this or why it's important for you to do this, um, you won't. Um, and it will make you unethical because you won't take it uh, seriously. When you're doing, um, especially if you're work, working in energy and magic and these kinds of realms, it's important that your intentions are always clear. If they are not clear, it opens you up to possibilities of being unethical with your magical practice. And that's never a good thing. No. <laughs> Okay, so what are some of the benefits of, you know, sacred sexual, you know, sexuality? Um, for me, I'll talk about a little bit about my relationship before I go into the benefits. Let's, I'll share you a little bit about my story and, and what sacred sexuality is for me personally. Uh, let's see, 15 years ago, 15, 16 years ago, um, I met, I was at the Everything You Want to Know About Sex show. Um, I met this incredible, hello. You're muted. Perfect. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to just either, um, unmute yourself and ask the question or um, just allow yourself to, you can type it and I will respond to that type. Typing, hold on here, let me change the view. There we go. Uh, okay, where was I? Oh, telling him about my story of um, my journey of sacred sexuality. So when I was, so about 15 years ago, um, I was at the Everything You Want to Know About Sex show. I met this incredible woman. Her name was Paula Copeland. And she started talking to me. And there was thousands of people, tens of thousands of people at this big convention. And everybody went quiet. And all that I kept hearing was, um, all that I kept hearing was, this woman knows what you need. And this woman is your teacher. 
And so what ended up happening was that I went home and to my partner at that time and I said to him, I'm like, we have to go to this tantra weekend. He's like, are you insane? It's like a thousand dollars for two days. We don't have that kind of money. I'm like, listen, this magical thing happened. I've now learned that if magical things happen, I need to listen to it. So we went and what I found in that weekend, that tantric weekend was that what was wrong with me was that I was tantric and I didn't know what to do with all this sexual energy and all this sexual energy that I carried, I was very dysfunctional and very unethical with it. Um, you know, I was like this tsunami of destruction in the wake of my sexual arousal. And by starting to focus and from a tantric perspective, learning how to harness that sexual energy that was naturally just part of who I am, um, learning to harness that so that it could be focused in healing, healing me, healing the world, um, you know, sitting in that sexual energy, not having to get rid of it, not being in a frenzy state with it, using it to, uh, for creativity, for problem solving, for business. Um, I learned to harness this incredible life force energy, which is sexual energy, to create this incredible life that I have. And that started me on my journey of, in this lifetime, of becoming, you know, the sex girl, sexual magic girl. Um, I also utilize uh, sexual energy to do body work and heal clients. Um, I also use sexual energy um, and sexual magic. I actually also to use sexual magic and sexual magic is um, tapping into the primal forces of the universe and being able to harness those primal uh, forces of the universe to for the greater good for the greater good of the earth for the greater good of the world for the greater good um, never from a, a harm or manipulation standpoint and so for me how I, every moment of the day is about a pleasure pleasure moment and being in this moment of present. So the other gift that Tantra gave to me personally was beyond, you know, stop making me be like unethical with shit and life and orniness, um, was that it allowed me to start this meditative practice of being fully present. And fundamentally, Tantra, and this is, a, you know, again, Tantra has many, many people, different practitioners have different philosophies. But for me, what Tantra has been and always um, that I teach is that it's about teaching me to be human and embrace all that it means to be human. And through my humanness, it allows me to reach higher states of consciousness, magic, manifestation, all sorts of fantastic things. And, but in order for me to be present, what that means is not hiding or running away from all the good, the bad, the ugly, um, but embracing it, but not staying stuck in it. So if I'm angry, allow myself to have a tantrum for 30 seconds to a minute and feel what I need to feel and then move on to the next moment. And the next moment I might be incredibly happy, allow myself to surrender to that happiness without judgment and for however long it lasts until I move to the next moment. It's not about running away or suppressing, it's about embracing and moving through it and learning and growing and learning and growing and learning and growing. And because I practice that on my day-to-day -day life, um, it also shows up in the bedroom. And what happens for me sexually in the bedroom is that I'm incredibly orgasmic. I can have up to two, 300 orgasmic ex uh, experiences in a play session and a play, and what is a play session is a sexual, a period of time where you um, put aside for sexy time. And I can have that because I've trained my brain to turn off and be in my body and be in the moment and not um, be judgmental and not question it. And so that's the sexual benefit. Um, the, the emotional benefit and the psychological benefit is that I'm incredibly aware and present all the time. I mean, I'd say all the time. I've I've been practic I've been practicing living this way for the last fifteen years, and I would say I'm able to be completely present in the moment. Completely present, 
present in the moment about 65 to maybe 70 percent of the time so that's some serious awesome benefits hold on i got a question here let's see what it is oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> just our uh, extra viewer uh here said that that was fantastic it is fantastic like life is incredible but life is incredible because i'm this pleasure orgasmic magical creature and that takes energy and work to do so some of the other benefits of engaging and starting on that sacred sexual journey with yourself and with your partner or partners um, and it's really important to understand that you don't need to actually have a partner to experience it. That for the last 15 years, most of my sexual magic and sexual exploration around um, energy work has been with myself. I've had lovers and stuff, but they weren't into that place. It's only been recently that I've had a partner who is engaging um, with me on this, and it's incredible. Um, it's like, whoa, my vagina is like with every organ orgasm is creating more universes it's like it's it's incredible so you can do and i'm completely sober there's no drugs involved <laughs> it's almost like if you've ever done ecstasy or a version of that kind of drug and you just are so ecstatic and happy and and tingly and everything is like every one of your senses is alive and awake that's what's it, what it's like to move with sacred sexual sexuality that's what it's like to move in that world all the time it's like you're always in this euphoric not always i mean like you said like i said before you have to have your other feelings too but your senses are so alive and so awake because you're in the moment always it's orgasmic just hearing this fantastic Mwah. Okay, some of the other benefits that we have. So it helps with sleep. It helps to heal your physical body. It helps to teach you how to communicate with others more efficiently and be present, which allows you to have better interpersonal relationships, not just with your partners, uh, but with your children, uh, your bosses, your clients, uh, your customers. It allows you to be more connected. Uh, it also allows you to improve your stress levels um, because you're more zen and you're not staying stuck. So therefore, your nervous system isn't going into a constant state of fight, flight, or freeze state. Um, so there's some serious health benefits. You, it helps you to start to train your mind so that your mind doesn't control you. Uh, you start to learn to respond to life and situations instead of being reactive to everything. Um, so those are some of the like major benefits of why you would go on this journey. Plus it helps in order to get to that state that I'm talking about, this orgasmic state of awesomeness. Um, you have to work on your shit, which means you need to feel your stuff. You have to heal your heart chakra. You have to heal your intimacy issues. You have to heal feeling worthy of love. You have to heal being present in your body like you have to heal your shit if you don't heal your shit you can't come here you can't you can't go there and and when you heal your shit everything else in life becomes fantastic because you don't have all these you're not reacting and responding and triggered and all this stuff all the time so it's another ba bonus is that that's kind of my one of my own been my own personal motivators behind healing my emotional stuff my my own sexual abuse trauma my own satanic ritual abuse trauma um healing from past relationships like why i heal and keep working on healing because otherwise i would just be crazy because <laughs> it's not a fun time healing right um the reason that i keep healing is so that i can have more orgasmic bliss in my life that's that's my motivator that's why i do it so when i face something that's scary and uncomfortable, uh, which happened, you know, just even a couple, a couple weeks ago, um, my new tantric lover was opening up my heart chakra and I still had intimacy issues and it was very uncomfortable and I cried and it was unpleasant and, and I didn't like it at all. But once I was, 
I allowed myself to go through that and feel that and experience it and release it, um, I'm able to receive even more awareness and more love from people around me in the world. So it's worth it. How do you get started? So there's a couple different key components. So first of all, it's really important that you're not like, oh, I'm going to go do Wield Some Magic and go get some sex magic books and start reading those things. Like That's not the best way to start this process. First, you need to know why you want to go on this process. The next thing, we're, I'm going to give you a couple of exercises to start getting you in your body, being present, um, changing your mindset um, right now. And and what you want to do is then go find somebody that practices sacred sexual magic or sacred sexuality, tantra, some form of sacred sexuality, and have them help you awaken and connect. And and you know, go to a workshop or something along those lines where you have a facilitator of some sort that can support your healing and growth and awakening and making sure that you have all the, the little bits and pieces. When you start doing energy work and magic, it's really important to have protection around you and there's some foundational tools that you have to have in order for you to be safe and others to be safe and and you know, you don't have you don't have any karmic debt that you're gonna have to pay back later. So it's very important that you reach out to somebody that can support you in that journey to give you the foundational tools. And then you can go off and explore, okay? Let's start with our Kegel. So our root chakra. Our root chakra runs from our tailbone through our legs to our top of our pelvic bone. And our root chakra is what keeps us grounded and anchored into the earth, which is super important when you're doing energy work because you don't want to be floating all over the place. You want to be grounded while you're doing it, as well as it allows you to release all that no longer serves you. So we're going to do a little, I want to take you through a quick little grounding exercise, okay? First, and Kegels are an important part of waking up your root chakra. It's also Kegels help for women. It helps to prevent prolapse uterus. It helps to prevent incontinence. It helps uh, being able to be multiply orgasmic, female ejaculation, um, it helps. You can do some cool new tricks if you have a penis inside you. Um, what else does it help with? Oh, it helps to tighten um, and prevent uh, tearing during childbirth. And energetically, our Kegel is our Kegels are our PC. Our PC. It's called a PC. Your PC muscles, and your PC muscles are the. At, the pump. What it does is it allows us to build sexual energy and it allows it to move it through our bodies and then we can do all sorts of cool stuff with that sexual energy once we understand it and know how to create it and move it. So Kegel, Kegel, Kegel. For men, it's super important for you to also Kegel. You want to, it'll help to keep your erections strong and firm and hard. Uh, it helps to prevent prostate cancer. It helps um, with ejaculation. Thank you very much. Yes, those are the muscles, your PC muscles. I can never pronounce it properly in Latin. <laughs> It helps you, oh yeah, your um, PC muscles help you with the males. We were talking about oh, prevents incontinence, prostate cancer. Uh, it helps to have strong erections and it helps ejaculation mastery. Um, and again, it's also your pump. So it's important to also do your Kegels. And they say in order for you to have a healthy PC muscles, what you need to be doing is up to 100 a day and doing like 10 sets of 10. And the best way that I found for me and for many of my clients is to anchor it to something that you already do. So every time you open the fridge or every time you're at a red light or you stop, uh, you're a stop sign. For me, I always do my Kegels every time I'm standing in the line, in a line somewhere, in the bank, and you know, customs, anywhere I'm standing in a line, I start to do my Kegels. I'm always the happiest person in that line. <laughs> so you want a Kegel. 
All right, so there's a couple. So now let's do some Kegels. So I want you to squeeze and the, the muscles, if you're like, oh, I don't know what those muscles are. So for women, it's the, there's a group of muscles that all go all the way up your vaginal canal. Um, it's the muscles when you're first trying to identify them uh, that you pee out of, like when you stop the flow of pee. And so those muscles are, you contract them and you relax them. At first, you can kind of just, to get a feel for it, kind of squeeze everything. You squeeze your anus, squeeze your vaginal canal, squeeze it all, and then relax. For men, it's the muscle groups that make your penis dance when you have a boner, and, um, and you've all done it. You've all made it dance or try to hit somebody in the face with it. Those are the muscles that you're looking for. All right, so we're going to take a, oh, and it's very important that often most people actually don't have there's more people who are sitting in hypertension mode especially women in particular where you are always tight and you never fully relax your muscles so when we squeeze our muscles and we inhale we are going to squeeze them and then when we exhale you're going to relax your muscles but you're going to push your anus out a, lot, a little bit and what that's going to do is it's going to help your brain and your your muscle memory to remember what it's like to have a fully relaxed group of your PC muscles. Okay, so here we go. Take a breath in, squeeze, hold, exhale, relax, push out. Breathe in, squeeze, hold, exhale, relax, push out. Good, and one more time. Breathe in, squeeze, hold, exhale, relax, push out. Fantastic. So that's your Kegel or your PC muscle exercise. We call it, it's known as a Kegel because Arnold Kegel um, kind of was a doctor that kind of discovered and started talking to people about doing this and the importance of health. So that's why they're called Kegels. I like to call them squeagles because they're a little more fun that way. <laughs> All right. Now what I want you to do is to find a part of your body. We're going to do a grounding meditation. So I want you to find a part of your body that you can touch in public. So I have mine anchored here. So I'm going to put my hand here. And some people, this is nice, or somebody, some people have touched their knees. So pick a part of your body. Touch that part of your body. Now we're going to take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. You're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to squeeze, exhale, and relax. Breathe in, squeeze, exhale, and relax. And one more. Breathing in, squeeze, exhale, and relax. Now, I want you to visualize an image, an image that's moving from your root chakra. It can be tree roots, it could be a beam of light, it could be a waterfall, it could be a tube. Whatever image comes to you is perfect. You're going to visualize this image moving from your root chakra into whatever, wherever you're sitting, down into the floor, take a breath in, squeeze, exhale, relax, allow this image to move into the floor, into the center of the, into the earth, the first layer of earth, moving down into the earth, down, 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 until you come to the center of the earth. And in the center of the earth is this beautiful cavern filled with gems and crystals. And in the center of this cavern is a beautiful pool of lava. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Now the image between your root chakra in the center of the cavern is called your conduit. So we're going to allow all that no longer serves you to move out of your body, down your root chakra, down your conduit, and be dropped into the pool of lava. So breathe in, squeeze, exhale, allow sadness, fear, anger, worry, stress, nervousness, pain, anything that doesn't serve you, allow it to move out of your body, 
down your root chakra, down your conduit, drop into the pool of lava. Again, breathing in, exhale. As you exhale, allow all that no longer serves you. Sadness, fear, anxiety, worriedness, stress, nervousness, pain, anxiety. Let it all go. Self-doubt. Let it all go. It no longer serves you. I give you permission to release it. Let it flow out of your body, down your root chakra, down your conduit, dropped into the pool of lava. Breathe in, exhale, allow all that no longer serves you, fat, fear, sadness, self-doubt, worry, anxiety, pain, nervousness, tiredness, allow it to all move out of your body. Now, the beautiful thing about Mother Earth and the center of the Earth in the lava is it's transformed all of that crap for you and for me. And it's turned it into the perfect amount of energy that we need. This new energy is going to come up from the lava into your conduit, move into your root chakra. This new safe, sensual, powerful, strong, energized magical energy allow it to flow from the center of the earth up into your root chakra up the front of your body allow it to move down the back of your body and down your arms dance around this new safe sensual powerful magical juicy energy allow it to move down your ass dance around your bum move down your legs both front and back tip your nose your toes your fingertips and the tips of your hair when your whole body is filled and penetrated with this new safe unconditional love and acceptance sensual juicy powerful energy open your eyes and come back to the room <sighs> so that grounding exercise is something that if you do that exercise every day for 30 days and you you make sure you always touch the same part of your body what that will do is that'll allow you to have a tool that you can use anytime, any place in your life that you can take the edge off. Yes, it totally helps at work. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, it takes the edge and the worry and the stress and the anxiety, it takes that edge off for you. And you can do that anytime, any place once you have it anchored in there. So I don't need to actually go through that whole visualization anymore. All I do is have to touch here, take three deep breaths, let it all the crap out of me and bring in exactly what I need and I'm good to go. So it's a very powerful tool. And I recommend doing it at the end of the day when you're doing it every day to get it anchored into you. Um, because at the end of the day, before you go to sleep, it helps you to purge all the stuff that you've picked up throughout the day. Okay, yay. Next tip that I want to talk to you about is um, I want to give you this little tool. There's two more tools I want to give you. One is called rapid breathing. So sexual energy is built in our genital area and you can move that sexual energy through two things. Breath, three things, sorry. Breath, movement, and sound. And you can mimic orgasmic release by using breath, movement, and sound. So we're going to do some rapid breathing, okay? This is a great thing to do as a pick-me-upper. So it also helps when you're making, having sex and you want to build the energy up. And then you can slow your breathing and your movement down so that you can stay at that plateau of arousal. You can bring in your energy up. You can bring it down. It's a great way to regulate your sexual energy within your when you're making love to yourself, self-exploration, or with your when you're with a partner. 
um, without even a lot of thought because your partner will rhythmically get in sync with it. It's just what happens. So this is what rapid breathing looks like. All right, you ready? If you are at work, please make sure you have headphones on because I'm going to like get all breathy and kind of orgasmic here for a second. So make sure that you don't want your office to hear me. All right. So it goes like this. <laughs> That's so good. So good. So as you can see in my body, like you can probably see in my face, it got flesh there. My body kind of arched back, my head arched back a little bit. I squeezed. So what I did was I did some a Kegel. I went squeeze, 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 held, and then I exhaled and relaxed my muscles. So let's, there's a couple different parts to that. So let's start with, let's just start with the breath and the sound and movement okay so let's start with the sound or just to start with the breath good now we're gonna do excellent take some normal breaths because I don't want you to hyperventilate now we're gonna add a little more breathy and we're gonna add some sound <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. You will start to feel tingly when you do it. Your your body will start to feel tingly. Your you you start to feel tingly. Don't panic. Don't be like, oh my god, I'm dizzy and I'm hyperventilating. That's what your body does when it goes into an orgasmic rhythm. It. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Someone's loving it. Someone's speechless right now. Fantastic. The whole idea around this rapid breathing is you're moving energy. You're creating energy. Okay. So we got the, we got the sound. I'm breathing through my mouth, in through my mouth, out through my mouth. I'm making sound when I do that. Now we're going to add the Kegel part. So I'm going to go, hold, exhale. So you're going to go, instead of squeezing it all together, I squeeze a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, so it goes in stages. Hold, and exhale. All right, so this is what this looks like. All the pieces together. Let's practice. Practice makes perfect. All right. And one more time. So you're going about your day. You're bummed out. You're stressed out. You're tired. You're, you know, it's like... All you have to do is do a couple, do some Kegels, do some rapid breathing, and then you'll be aroused and horny and happy and tingly. My face is all flushed. I had a couple of like little baby orgasms. I'm like, everything just feels so incredible. So yeah, rapid breathing. That's your new friend. Do your Kegels, 100 a day. Do your grounding. Do some rapid breathing. And then the last tool I want to teach you before I go today is pleasure moments. I want you to become sensory aware and be in your body. What you're going to do is you are going to set your alarm for four, three to four pleasure moments in your, throughout your day. And each day you're going to decide which of the five senses are you going to engage in. Sight, sight smell, taste, touch, and hearing. And what you're going to do is when that alarm goes off, you're going to be in that moment completely for like, you only need to stay in it from five to 30 seconds. So if it's sight, I want you to see something that you didn't see. If it's smell, I want you to, there's two different types of ways that you can smell. There's little rabbit smells. 
which pick up things. And then there's like the drunken sailor smell. <sighs> okay. Taste, well, obviously, if you have food, it's awesome. But if you don't have food, you can lick yourself. You can lick others. Please ask consensually. Don't go around licking people without consent. Ask their permission first. You can uh, taste the air like a snake. So you can stick your tongue out and breathe in through your tongue and see what you pick up in the air for taste. Touch, you want to feel all of the senses. So you want to both feel from the perspective of your hands and then feel from the perspective of your skin. So for example, I want to feel and tap into what the shirt material feels against my skin. Hmm. Or my hands feeling the material on that skin or on, the, on my body. So from the different perspectives. Sound, what I want you to do is to pick a sound that you hear cl close to you, and then I want you to dial the sound that's closest to you. I want you to turn it down, and I want you to pick up further away sounds and further away sounds. What this does is it really awakens all of your senses. Senses are what create orgasmic pleasure. When we have physical sensory pleasure and we have enough of our, enough of it our body's natural uh, release its byproduct is orgasmic release but you have to be in the body in order to build that sexual pleasure or sort of to build that pleasure which then turns to sexual pleasure which then turns to orgasmic release because that's what naturally happens and the, so I want you to do that every day for the next month. So the next month is going to be an awakening. Once you've accomplished all that for the next month, then go reach out to somebody who can support your growth and development, whether that's come see me or go see somebody that's like me as a sexual wellness coach or a tantra teacher or a sexual energy worker. Um, find somebody that can help you go on this journey. But I recommend if you're, you need to commit that to yourself, like you have to commit yourself and do those little exercises that I gave you and you'll start to notice a difference. If you start to notice a difference, it'll be well worth the money, the time and the energy that you're going to go create this. Now, if you're in a partnership, you want to create huge amounts of connection and intimacy going on this sacred sexual journey with your partner will help you bear each other's soul and connect and have true intimacy. And you will not be empty inside and wanting your partner to complete you. You will both become two complete individuals that co-create something magical in the world together. All right. Any questions? No? Okay. Fantastic. That means I did my job well. <laughs> if you want to get a hold of me, you can reach me at www.succulentliving.com. And I look forward to you creating more pleasure and more orgasmic experience in being more present in your life. Bye-bye.